Now it's time to design piston. Expand the data panel and create a new project. Assign a name to it, sample project. Just pin it to the top so that you can have your project when you open instantly. Sample project, open it. Make sure that you are in sample project. Close the data panel. Choose file and create a new design. Now save it. Assign a name to it, piston. Ensure the directory, sample project master. Click on save. Create a new component and assign a name to it, piston. Click OK. A component with piston has been created. Expand it. Enable origin. Choose this plane to sketch. Choose line. And just trace this profile. No need to worry about the dimension. We will assign them later. Close the sketch. Now we are having a complete closed profile. Our sketch is not fixed on the plane. Try to drag selecting any line. It's moving as you hover the mouse right. We just have to fix the sketch on the plane. Now it's time to assign some constraint relations. This palette allows you to create some constraints. Choose equal in here and select this line and as well as this line. Press escape. These two lines are equal now. Now select these lines. Right click and choose equal. And also select these lines. Right click and make them equal. We need not to give dimension for every line. Assign a dimension to one line. So that it follows to every line. I'm just giving dimension for this line. Let it be 2 mm. And the dimension of this line about 5 mm. And now assign a dimension to this line 5 mm. The height of this line about 41 mm. And the base distance is about 23 mm. Have you noticed anything here? Initially the sketch is in blue color. Now it's turned to black color. Indicating that it has been fixed on the geometry. Now it's time to revolve this. Create. And choose revolve in here. Select the profile. Select axis in here. Choose this line and make sure that it is in 360 degrees, direction one side. You can have different options here. For now I am going with new body. Click OK. Your model is created, right? We will modify it now. Choose this face and choose circle. Draw a circle of dia 36 and press Q for extrusion. Select this profile, drag it inside about negative 25 mm. Your hole is created now. Now choose this plane for sketch and select line. Draw a profile like this. Just disable the bodies. Now you can have your sketch clearly visible to you.
we'll use symmetric relation here select line and press x have you noticed anything press again x yes the option here construction is enabling and disabling right x is the shortcut for construction line now draw a construction line select this point this point and this line choose symmetry here and also select this point this point and this line choose symmetry in here perfect now assign a dimension of angle select this line and this line the angle is about 55 degrees and the distance between this line and this line is about 10 mm now enable the body and assign a dimension from this point to this point about 7 mm now press q for extrusion just disable the bodies to select the sketch and now enable the body select direction as two sides or symmetric the extrusion cut is about 25 mm make sure that the operation is cut and click okay now choose this plane again and create a sketch choose center diameter draw a circle in here assign a dimension to it 8 mm and the height from this point to this point is 18 mm and give a relation to it disable bodies for now choose this point and this point and make them vertical enable the bodies now press q for extrusion disable the body again and select the profile enable the body choose symmetric here select cut here give the distance about 25 mm and click okay now select the same plane again create a sketch circle or project the circle from previous circle press p for projection select this sketch and click okay press c for circle disable the body for now draw a circle assign a dimension of 11 mm dia press q for extrusion and select this profile and enable the body now perform the same operation choose front plane here the distance about 20 mm and click okay this is the hole for piston pin you are almost right away now select this plane again create sketch of a rectangle by tracing these two points assign a dimension for the height about 12 mm disable the body for now and assign a dimension of this line 18 mm now enable the body again 
press Q for extrusion and select this profile enable the body again select offset in here give the offset distance as 20 and this distance about 5 click ok now mirror this feature to the other side also for that select this feature press ctrl and simultaneously select the plane choose create in here and select mirror just click ok now your feature has been mirror it's almost done just one thing left there's a hole at the top select this plane and choose sketch select spline click ok select line select this point and top just close the profile press escape now disable the body press Q select create and select revolve choose this profile to revolve and select the axis just enable the body now and make sure the operation is cut and click ok that's all we have a hole now the grooves for piston rings are two we can modify them anytime we need just select the sketch and just right click edit the sketch and adjust the dimensions i just want this to be 1 mm and this to be 3 mm that's all stop the sketch entire project is modified right i just don't want to see all these sketches just disable all these i don't want to see origin now your piston model is complete